Coming up next, obviously, is... I'm waiting for this too, which is Hyrule Warriors <laughs> Age of Calamity. Coming so, up next is the thing we've all been waiting for. Thanks, JC. Thanks, Corey. Wow, Pikmin looks like a lot Yo, of I want that picture she Hi, has everyone. hanging up on I'm her Kate wall. I'm Nintendo Treehouse, and I've got my colleagues Chico and Kendra here with me. Was it Kate? Yeah, I want I want we everything started, that she has I'd hanging like up on her walls. that we are doing this remotely. Uh, so there might be I love the way that's set up too. I didn't do we're that. we're asking for your patience and your understanding as we work as hard as we can to bring you an amazing stream. Uh, so today we're going to- So yeah, to this is live then. This Hyrule is definitely Warriors live, not recorded. Calamity, which takes place a hundred years before Breath of the Wild and tells the story of the Great Calamity and the events leading up to it, uh, which really can only be told through the one versus 1,000 action of a Warriors game. No, you could definitely uh, tell we'll it start off in the Breath with of the Wild way, first but- look at I'm not mad that you're telling it this way. Chico, are you ready? Yes, I am. So <laughs> let's get uh, started. I'm so we're going straight into Urbosa. Uh, I'm uh, playing as Urbosa right now. As you can clap see. a clap. That's all you can do. And clap I'm a clap. Actually, up. inside the uh, Devilo Town right now. And then it is a uh, higher warriors game, so you will be using X and Y button to do uh, weak and strong. Oh attack. yes! And then oh yes! I need this game oh, in my wait. life like uh, immediately. Why is this game uh, not out yet? Right now. Uh, <laughs> why are we have to wait to the twentieth of next month? Ega Trump. Well, I don't want to talk about why they're here, uh, but the objective is I have to actually defeat all three Ega Blade Masters. So to do that, in addition to the usual Hyrule Warriors, they gave action, them proper I dodge have to, rolls. Uh, room to counter attack. Okay. And I can use. Uh, I just use the stasis now, as you can tell. But uh, each character can use all four uh, different rooms in different occasions. So uh, I, I love her I'm dodges. Attacking him right now. She's like so spinning, uh, pirouetting around the stage. About what's unique about Ubuntu. Great, thank you so much, Chico. That's yeah, nice, no frame drops or anything yet. Is Nothing serious really at least. fun and exciting. And uh, as you can see, it's focused on her ability to use an attack with lightning. Um, she has a unique ability to charge up lightning, uh, which is represented by the gauge at the top of the screen. Um, and yep, she's charging it right there. And once it's charged up, she can actually uh, use the lightning in addition to okay. her strong attacks to kind of strengthen those attacks and do some really character specific stuff with it. Um, she also uses lightning in her uh, weak point counters and in her special attacks. Um, and if, if Chico can get the timing right, after some of these big attacks where there's still I like electricity it. I like it a lot. Ice, she can um, You already know I'm going to be maining her Bosa, right? The super quick um, which takes a lot of skill yes. and a lot of timing, but it's, it's uh, going to be Urbosa, very satisfying when you can pull young it off. um young Impa yep. and uh Okay, so and uh yes, was it uh, what was it not not Johnny but uh Robbie. And Robbie. I just wanted to add too um Aside from the gameplay that you're seeing, well, first of all, oh wait, no, oh my I'm gosh. interrupting myself because there's a Korok. There it is. Wait, they had <laughs> they added the Koroks so in. Really That's the awesome. Koroks are in the stages that you can find. <laughs> um, but this is the first time that people get to play as Urboso, which is already super awesome. And this area, wait, you can go in the, the you can go in the end fans. Yeah, um, and it's cool to see these places. So great. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. They, la they let you go into the buildings? Um, but what I did want to say is fans can look forward to um, getting more backstory on these characters as well. You don't normally get to go um, into really buildings in a Warriors look game. look at Urbosa's relationship to Zelda. Forts and maybe, but not buildings. And also more information about Urbosa's relationship to Zelda's late mother. So um, if you're like me and you love to get to know the characters and get to know them in ways that you didn't get to in Breath of the Wild, this game is your opportunity to do that. That's right. It's it's really there's a lot to unpack in here and a lot to see and it's very thrilling for fans of Breath of the Wild to to be able to take a look a more in depth look at this time in the uh, in the story. All right, and now we're taking a look at uh, Zelda's gameplay. 
which is also a first look. Very exciting. Um, as you can see, she uses... She gets a walking bomb that tosses more bombs. Uh, in addition to being able to use them uh, just like everyone else. And she can uh, create different combinations of runes All right, to take Zelda. out huge swarms of enemies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> In a very unique I don't care what anybody it's... says. <laughs> it's so cool to see Zelda. Do you enjoy the Pirate Warrior out. games? Yeah, the Pirate Warrior was fun. Pirate Warriors was definitely fun. Pirate Warriors, yeah, the original, was pretty me, good too, though. Anytime Zelda gets to. I kind of want to play, play it as now. Zelda and annihilate enemies as Zelda, it's pretty much a win for me. Because Zelda and a Zelda game. Yeah. This is well, the first time really that I've seen Zelda have some actual, <laughs> you know, like nice work. Meat on her bones, so to nice speak. Uh, Zelda in all the games that she's been in has always been like this she's really great. thin <laughs> character wearing a big uh, a, 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 a slim dress. She's never actually had some meat on her bones, so it's actually kind of nice to see a Zelda that has. Some meat on her bones. You want to go after that to the location? Since you know, Breath of the Wild. There's, looks like there's a lot of people here. And for people who are new to the like, Warriors, Zelda's series, always um, seemed see like that character that if you, that you touched her arm, it would snap in, in half. Um, and the action. Uh, but and that's why she got all this magic barriers and stuff, so that you can't snap her body in half. <laughs> like Peach, exactly. Peach is like a. Peach is so, a stick. Uh, this is Peach. And then and she covers up with a, 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 fla a flappy dress. But Peach is just basically this. Actually, no, she's this. One arm. Oh, I can't use it right now, so I will wait till my... My room fills up first, but... Make some noise, Chico. Okay, so I'm going to... yeah, do yeah, it. Do that. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> this, guy's a mm. this guy's really Chill them a bit. Way. <laughs> so as you can see, uh, when you use the Sheikah room, okay. there is a little bit of a wait time for it to charge back up before you can use which it Which makes again. sense. Um, which is very similar to how it worked in Breath of the Wild. Oh man, that was that was a gorgeous. It makes sense. Right in Hyrule Warriors, the first one, you could spam and your uh, weapons. For using these. You could just literally sit there and just keep using them the whole time. A certain familiar uh, monster. And there Moldoga. He is. Oh man. Oh. Look sure how the lady though. I think he's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, he's too. I scary. love the song yeah, from Moldoga. I don't think I want to do this. Bye bye. <laughs> now let's go ahead and like. That's it. Uh, let's no, escape no, no. to the main menu while we can. <laughs> so we're gonna go back to uh, the world map and show. I wanted some to see that the, uh, gameplay uh, between battles, um, leveling up characters, strengthening weapons, and unlocking things. Uh, there it is, a very familiar map of Hyrule. Chico, do you want to tell us is, a little bit? Is it about dancing? This? What's what's that mark that's yeah, dancing so, up there at the top uh, right do corner? Do you ever play, you know, like always, you know, Hyrule Warriors game or maybe different uh, Warriors game? You might be familiar with how the menu looked like. You will go from chapter one to three type thing. But this one, you actually uh, go through different chapters and uh, locations using the uh, map of Hyrule from the uh, Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. And uh, when I first saw this, I was act literally screaming because it was so gorgeous, and I just loved it. This and, is uh, this is incredibly in, insane. In, the amount uh, of attention to detail that he put in a Warriors game. Type of material. You would never so expect him to put this kind of attention to detail into a Warriors uh, off like a game that isn't a main like series game. Uh, at the training ground and. Uh, and even like you know different exactly uh, they're giving us a full zelda game, game before so breath of the wild too things i wanted to show is actually here uh blacksmith 
So it is a high warriors game. So you will be collecting a lot of different weapons while you are in the. I stage. tell you this right uh, now. Like I would have wild, flipped you my. Uh, the weapons. I would have flipped weapons, my uh, lid, this, my hat. But you can use. If they had allowed you to select a zone and you could just walk around, your, uh, you could go to the black shop yourself. So, you know, the blacksmith right shop yourself uh, this, uh, by li literally uh, walking i would have just flipped and, my dab of it and you know, wait to use it <laughs> this so would have been game of the year use, no one could tell uh, me otherwise sledgehammer i wrote sledgehammer and then uh, fuse them with all the materials i got so far with yeah mainline dynasty know. warriors started and falling off for me <laughs> xbox 360. <laughs> like once once they hit like six Don't and seven care. i stopped caring okay I, I think worried. my favorite <laughs> Dynasty Wars, I think, is what, three or four no, that was said, on PlayStation 2? Yes, it's okay. You can use up to five different weapons and then you can uh, strengthen. Uh, you, of course, have to use the rupees, so make sure you collect the rupees when you are in the stage two. And uh, now I have is... my uh, Sledgehammer. It's like I'm playing five, so Breath of the it. Wild 2, uh, Breath of the Wild, but with like an um, DLC add on. The materials you collected, you can make the dish. So let's see, this one is ready. So spar fish dish. And you need- This is your favorite part of, uh, exactly. Fish. Breath so of the Wild point, uh, point four or something like that. So now I love that dish. So I can earn oh, most the recipe for chili fish skewer. Which reminds me, let me pre-order my copy on GameStop right, like, right now. Can be used to uh, give your characters a little bit- Cause I, I want that keychain. Before you go into battle. Um, and there are a bunch mm -hmm. of different types have different effects so it's pretty fun to collect them and see what they do yep they and, also uh, have by defeating um... the... oh, go ahead. <laughs> yeah so by defeating monsters and getting those materials uh you can also turn them into these other uh quests which you can use to unlock uh bonus combos or extra health or uh other such things um but the thing i really like about these is that they have little stories um, that go along with them. Um, little glimpses into the characters' lives between battles during this war. Um, the one that we just did, for example, is about a, a young child in Hateno village who wants to build a monster dummy so that they can practice uh, I'm going to have to go using into a two-handed sword. Personally. And so Link actually brings the materials to make the dummy, creates this dummy, helps them build it, and then they train together. And that's how Link is able to come up with an extra uh, move for his two-handed sword um and i love it because links for i hit a button on my computer and i think uh, it might have ruined things there we go his life whoopsie yeah the world building. they really oh, need to make it so that you can't mess with other websites yeah we just uh strengthened this 200 i mean sledgehammer is basically a 200 sword type so uh i'm going into the training mission where i, I find my store i want to see what the closest store for me is how the 200 sword or 200 weapon will work in this game and so i changed my weapon and i guess you i can change my tire because i think they closed my yeah, closest you can, store you can unlock different pieces of armor as you progress through the game and you can uh equip or i guess unequip them uh, and dress him up however you want. Um, they look nice! Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> Penmar, Prince George's this Plaza. Is, uh, and and also uh, training attire. <laughs> <laughs> and we also this is the chili fish skewer we just got from the recipe location. So I can use that. Yeah, they right. got rid and of every my character the game stuff closest to me. Differently to Sucks. the uh dishes that you cook for them um and some characters Makes me a little bit even sad. have favorite dishes um and they'll say something different when you give them their favorite dish so it's a lot of fun to try out a bunch of different recipes and see uh there you are your characters prefer yeah and if you watch the tgs uh live stream you might have seen the uh cutscene where it's showing the tower actually raising from the ground and that tower is actually going to be a base for Link uh, whenever he goes to the next mission. So I think you just saw there him kind of like warping from the tower to that new location uh, where I'm going to be showcasing the 200 sword training mission. Right. Um, so yeah, it's, it is a training mission. 
Oh, hey. GameStop has the new Pokemon Snap. I mean, there's no joke up for pre-order right now. If anything, I just feel bad for Link. <laughs> no, you know he, he works up quite a sweat to get in the way while he's around. fighting. <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, this is a training level, so you're fighting against a lot of Hyrulean soldiers, um, and using the two-handed sword, uh, which. Uh, you know, aesthetically does look a lot like uh, how it was used in Breath of the Wild. Um, in this game, it's it's slower but more powerful than the one-handed sword. Um, but the uh, fun fun thing about it is that he can <laughs> he can uh, use the unique action to this looks so strengthen good. his strong attack. This looks so um, good. In exchange, he takes a little bit of temporary damage. I did. Um, is he like fighting that. his own troops? And uh, in order to heal that temporary damage, you can press X to uh, consume a meal in the middle of battle. <laughs> what did he just do? And, I, um, I love the animation yeah, for him eating. Yeah, let's yeah I love the animation go. for him eating. Let's, let's yeah, get near some enemies. Yeah, it's still do it for us. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't like to pull this out. Oh, no, not quite. Okay, so... But I hit a wrong button, my bad. Things. Is highly aggressive. I just um, realized I hit a button. Some enemies, then we will see what happens, and hopefully <laughs> we'll get an opportunity to show you that because I love it. Nom nom nom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 There it is. Okay. Aggressive food eating. I love it. Shockwave blast, I... sending the soldiers flying. I love that they included that in, in this game as part of the actual uh, fighting style for the two-handed sword. I think it's a great homage to Breath of the Wild and people who played it like I did, um, which is to say having a uh, stockpile of apples or something in <laughs> my inventory so I could chow down when I'm being blown back by a strong attack that did lots of damage. <laughs> And aggressively eat your apples and send those soldiers. Aggressively flying. eat your apples. It's the only way to eat apples in this game. <laughs> <laughs> if you uh, burn, all right. How uh, many apples, chaos do we, we have? Can actually get the grilled apples too. Uh, oh yeah. So I have to kill right. the seven more. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting there. We're oh, more no, than no. halfway. I'd also like to point out that this location is very familiar. Um, it appeared as ruins in Breath of the Wild, but now, before the Calamity, it's in its heyday. <laughs> and, uh, it's very cool to see what it looked like when it, before it got destroyed. This game is just, it looks way too yeah, good. Yeah, maybe you can show us, um, some light, lightning rod action. What? Hold on, hold on. Oh yeah, we did get to see the ice rod before. Yeah, <laughs> that one. Oh yeah, this is this is gonna be great. This game cannot come quick enough. So as you can see, she's timing her attacks for when that weak point gauge comes out. Um, the big strategy against these stronger enemies is to uh, cut down that weak point gauge and create an opening so you can do a counter attack, which can be very powerful. This game literally cannot come quick enough. Nice one. A little bit more. <laughs> I love the two-handed sword so much. I think it's my favorite. It's so satisfying, you know, to just slam through all of these enemies, you know, these thousands and thousands of enemies. And also to like take a little break to have a snack here and then. It's a lot of fun. Absolutely. Oh, this is my favorite one. I'm hoping oh, that he's that. causing an eruption when he slams the ground. Too. Oh, of course. <laughs> I'm trying! Yeah. I suck at this thing! <laughs> you what? don't. No, you don't. You're doing great. You're almost there. You need to find another one of those captains. No, he's not the. Yeah. Nice. Oh, 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 there we oh, go. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's Daruk. 
is my favorite. Oh no! <laughs> well, he's very heavy moving character too. Oh my god! Yeah. Don't do that. He moves surprisingly quickly for someone of his size, though, I have to say. Yeah. You can do it, Chico. I believe in you. Keep your own size! Like two oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Just chucking that bombs like at him. A little bit of rough play for training. Oh, oh, oh. They take their training very seriously. Like, Jesus. Nice work. Ah, take nice that, work. Wow. Man, you made very yeah, quick work of the Good job. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you see how many times you hit him All with right, that, that hammer? Let's from this for a second. We have one other thing we'd like to show you. Uh, Chico's got to set it up, though. I I I love Daruk. He's so great. He's such a well, and it's really fun character. Yeah, and it's really it's cool to see all the various characters you know that we know and love from Breath of the Wild, but seeing them in this different setting and seeing all of their special moves and how those differ, I do I do really like seeing that, and I'm excited for what we're about to show you as well. I'm excited to too. Viewers. <laughs> yeah, it's it's great. It's it's an amazing thing that they've done with this game to uh, bring us into this era, you know, pre calamity, and show us all these characters and show us the intricacies of how they interact and how they uh, perform in battle. Um, it's stuff that that I think personally, as a fan of Breath of the Wild, I wished for so hard was the the mm -hmm. chance to be able to to see these guys in their prime so it's it's a oh fun. yeah it's this is going to be robbie yeah. and uh and, and not, um, to, Pura. not to bring the soup ladle up too much but i do want to say <laughs> i love that they included that they included the soup ladle you know that they're they're bringing it back and we see those same touches from breath of the wild in this game and chico mentioned that the weapons aren't breakable so you really could you know, equip that soup ladle. If you wanted a serious challenge, you could fight with the soup ladle. Serious you could challenge. You use know, weapons yes. to make your own the adventure. soup ladle stronger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love it. I love so, that when you use the soup ladle, you got the Ah, young Impa. Mm-hmm. All right, so totally. we're looking at oh. Impa now. There's no sound. Well, ah! So what I want to show <laughs> is in the distance, but I need to take care of these guys. She looks first. fun. Close. She looks like she's gonna be good. There's no sound though, unfortunately. Way. I I wonder if they realize there's no sound. So there it goes. Obviously, this is a new um, depiction of Impa um, that we're seeing here. But Chico is about to show us just what Impa is capable of in the gameplay. I love her. I love Impa so much. I think she's so much fun Jesus. to play. She's so quick and she has these different uh no, no, no. She, she like summons the a toad a frog. <laughs> and the, the I creation of stone. You did! Let's that was an impressive go. use of the electric rod, I have to say. And here we have a Hinox. <laughs> I love it. So yeah, as I was saying, Impa's gameplay, being able to absorb those those symbols to create the clones and then strengthen the strong attack when she has all of her clones out is... Uh, it's really fun. It takes a lot of strategy and timing. I like nice. it. Oh man, and Impa's gonna be her, amazing uh, to play with. Her Sheikah rune usage does differ back. from the other characters we've looked at today, too. Okay. Oh. You can do it! Oh, so we discussed earlier the... We uh, even get the ninja symbol, the ninja hand signs. ...to create openings to counter uh, strong enemies. Um, and it's even more important that you do that when fighting yeah. these big uh, monsters, too. Because, I think this is my favorite iteration uh, of Impa to date. Oh, nice. just like that. You can create like these that. great dramatic uh, openings for yourself. And it really is vital that you get these weak point smashes in because they do so much damage. And it can really make it easy to, uh, or easier, I should say, to take these guys out. To take out the four Heons that was just having a nap, minding his own business. <laughs> 
I don't know about that. <laughs> well, I mean, I would be grumpy too if I got woken up like that. That's fair. I like how some of the, uh... The sh nice. I like how some of our clones are wearing the hats. He really is. I love that flying squirrel move. <laughs> <laughs> the maniacal laughter, yes. <laughs> you guys nice. All right, I think that's all, right, all the time that's... we have left for today. Let's oh. stop uh, beating up on this poor Hinox and let him go back to his nap. <laughs> He's not going to go back to his nap. <laughs> She's still right. killing him. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. She's for still killing him. In. Uh, this was Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, which releases Friday, November 20th. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. We sure did. <laughs> you should and, release it tomorrow. Uh, have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. That was interesting. That game was going to sell like hotcakes. That game looks so good. It looks so good. Pikmin 3 looked pretty good too. The bingo game? The bingo match? Or I think they call it big... Ooh. Excuse me. I think they called it bingo battle? Yeah, that looks amazing. Um, the only thing we need to know now is whether or not the game's going to have online play. Is Pigment 3 going to have online play? Um, I don't see why it wouldn't. It, it really should. Oh my god, the game would do amazing with some online co-op. Um, and so would Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. I think I heard somewhere that uh, Age of Calamity is going to have online. Let me see. Hmm. It doesn't look like it will. No news yet regarding whether or not it'll have online. That sucks. So yeah, nothing yet as to whether or not it's going to have online co-op. It really should though. So we'll, we'll have to keep an eye out for that to see if online comes to Age of Calamity. at some point in the future hopefully it does um, I'm praying that it does because uh, that would make this game so much more fun but yeah overall that was a pretty good um, presentation um, yeah I, it's watching those videos watching that treehouse just made me want both those games that much more like I cannot wait to have these games in my hand like right now I just can't. I can't wait. It can't. It can't. The um, November twentieth can't get here quick enough. I think Pikmin comes out next week. I want to say. I think it was what the sixteenth or something like that. I don't remember exactly what day it's supposed to come. Um, but yeah, I do know it's soon. So yeah, we're definitely gonna pick that one up as well.